guys, this is going to be Algebra Nation, page 98. This is going to be the first part of page 98. My kids would call this Fruit Ninja. If Mr. McGrath's class is out there watching, shout out to Mr. McGrath's class. Good luck on the EOC, guys. I don't know what he calls it, but I call it Fruit Ninja. So here we go. Watch this. Step one, multiply. 4 times 20 will give you 80. What multiplies to 80 and adds to 21? So you have to sit there and write down all the factors. And remember, you can take your calculator and break it down. 80 divided by 1 is 80, so 1 times 80. 80 divided by 2 is 40. 80 divided by 3. 80 divided by 3. Didn't work out. 80 divided by 4. Or 20. 80 divided by 5. And if you find it, which I just did, you could stop right there. 5 and 16 will give you 21. And it'll be positive 5 and positive 16 because all the answers are positive. So what am I going to do next? Leave the first term alone. Leave the last term alone. Take 21B. Split it up. Let's make it 5 and 16. Specifically, 5B and 16B. Does it matter which one I do first? Could I have done 16B and 5B? Yes, you will still get the same answer. I get that all the time. Does the order matter? Could it be 5 and 16 or 16 and 5? Doesn't matter as long as you have a 5 and a 16 in this case. What's in common with the first two? Just a B. Factor it out. 4B plus 5 is what's left. Plus, what's in common with the last two? 16 and 20 are divisible by 4. If you divide by 4, you get 4b plus 5. Hey, there we go. We have the 4b plus 5s in common. We're going to factor that out, and we're left with b plus 4. That's your answer. And that's the process to factor a trinomial with a number in front. So let's do another. What's step 1? 3 times negative 20 is negative 60. What multiplies negative 60 and adds negative 7? So you can write down all the factors, 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20, 4 and 15, 5 and 12. And eventually you find out that it's going to be 5 and 12. But it's negative, so that means 1 is positive and 1 is negative. To get a negative 7, the large number has to be negative. So from here, we have 3e squared plus 5e minus 12e minus Oop, 20. Let's try that again. 3e squared plus 5e minus 12e minus 20. What's in common with the first two? Just an e. 3e plus 5. What's in common with the last two? A little more than a 4. It's actually going to be a negative 4. And whenever you factor a negative, it's going to change all the signs. So negative 12 divided by negative 4 will be 3e. Negative 20 divided by negative 4 will be plus 5. But we expected these to be the same as they should. Factor out the 3e plus 5, and you're left with e minus 4. And that is your factored form. Let's take a little break for a second. Paul is continuing his run. Let's see how he's going to do. Mr. McGrath's class, sit back and enjoy it. Mr. Phillips' class, you better be taking notes because you're not getting credit unless you can answer one of my infamous questions. Here we go. Paul and Linda McCartney. A 
those aren't the legends I was hoping for. I'm gonna have to go with Modern Love, David. Modern Hogan. Love. Well, it can't be easy because we want to make money in six minutes of words. Six words, no backups. You can do it, man. Oh, you ready? I'm ready. Excellent job, my man. $100,000. Sweet! And we are going to take a two-minute stretch break. Stand up and stretch. Ask your neighbor what they had for breakfast. What's the last movie they went to? When a timer hits zero, we'll start our next video. Alrighty guys, let's get started with our next video.